morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. May I know your good name? Yeah, sure, sir. This is Shruti. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Shruti, can I have your resume? Yeah, sure. Yeah, Shruti, so briefly introduce yourself. Uh, uh, very good morning, sir. Uh, this is Shruti. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. Yeah. Uh, this is Shruti Pradarshini Dhar from Odisha. I have completed my B.Tech from Rajan Engineering College in the year of 2019 yeah, okay. uh, from stream of uh, Civil Engineering. And now I am familiar with uh, uh, manual testing. And now I am taking uh, coaching from Magnet Institute uh, about manual testing. Yeah, okay. All about it. It's all about it. Yeah, that's good. And are you completed your manual or still you are? No, it's the completed. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, Shruti. So, first of all, what is manual testing? Manual testing means uh, when uh, we uh, when we uh, test uh, something about uh, in manual way. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is called manual testing. Yeah, fine. Uh, yes, simply you can see if the testing was done without using any tools, so testing followed by manual approaches. Okay, that's fine. So in manual, so I can go with the basics like, uh, so what you know about positive and negative testing? Positive testing means, it's, uh, positive and negative testing is under uh, functional testing also. Positive testing means when uh, checking the application with uh, valid inputs. Yeah, okay. Okay, uh, like uh, user, when you put username as a valid inputs. That's called uh, the positive uh, testing. And negative testing when you check the application with the negative in uh, invalid inputs. Yeah, okay, fine. So, in the, like, beside this uh, concept, so I'm going with the similar type. And uh, so, what is meant by BBE? Like, uh, boundary value analysis. So, how can you check the boundary value analysis? Yeah, fine. So, both basically, the boundary value analysis, we need to check the ranges. Okay, so if the range is 1 to 10, you need to give minimum value, like 1, and you need to give a maximum value, like 10. And with respect to the positive, with respect to the negative, we need to give minimum minus 1 and maximum plus 1. Okay. So, okay, Shruti, so, can you explain the difference between defect and bug? Defect. Defect and bug. Uh, defect means uh, when we uh, test an application, there is uh, lots of uh, defects. The defects by uh, find by the uh, user. No, no, tester. Oh, sorry, tester. And bugs when we uh, 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 test that uh, def uh, when we test that application, then we get the error. One okay. type of uh, bug means one type of error. Yeah, okay. So while coming to the difference, you need to say. If the tester find it is a defect and he can send to the developer, while he can accept that, we can say it is a bug. Okay. So, okay, can you tell, how can you declare the test case is pass and the test case is fail? So, based on which concept we can, you can say it is a pass, it is a fail. That's the, uh, you need, no, no. Like, uh, bug life cycle, in bug life cycle. No, no, no. Uh, okay, I can give the some more clue. So you, you are executed one test cases. So you don't know whether it is a pass or fail. How you can like there is a one comparison between two things. What are the two things? So we, based on that comparison only we can get in the it is a fine, it is a defect or it is a bug. So yes, with the like uh, we uh, we need to compare with the expectation and actual. Okay. So if expectation match to the actual, what it will be? Pass. If expectation not matching to the actual, it's a fail. It's a fail. So if it is a fail, it is con con concluded as a. As a. Uh, so we need to conclude as a new diff. Okay. New. Okay. So yes, with the can you explain the bug life cycle? Yes. Yeah. Uh, bug life cycle means. Uh, uh, when we check the application, if uh, we get a uh, error, okay. so it's if it's not uh, fixed that properly, then we uh, if it uh, fail, if it fail, when we uh, we go to the developer, 
test that application properly, then if uh, it's uh, uh, completely uh, fixed uh, by the help of developer, then we, this is called uh, public. Then there is a some more process. We need to go for retesting again. Yeah. Yeah. If the retesting fail, again we need to send to the developer. Okay. So how you can differentiate that verification and validation process? Like uh, who will involve in verification? Who will involve in validation? In verification, uh, business uh, uh, representation. No QA. Uh, quality assurance. And in validation. Quality check. Control. Okay. So, how many levels of testings we have in validation? Yeah, there is a four levels. Okay. So, can you name them? Validation, unit testing, mm. uh, system testing, integration testing, user acceptance testing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Why we can say black box testing and why we can say white box testing? In black box testing, uh, unit testing and system testing is a black box black box testing and uh, system testing and uh, user acceptance testing is a white box testing. Who will do this black box and who will do this white box? Uh, Sorry. Developer will do white box. Tester will do, do black. Uh, black box. Yeah, okay, fine, and yeah, okay, Swati. So, so how, what is the difference between test case and test scenario? Test case means uh, when we check the application uh, with the help of uh, uh, documents, yeah. like in the, uh, when a client give our ch documents to check that. Uh, uh, all total uh, documents that's called test cases. Yeah. By the help of test cases, we uh, uh, recognize that uh, what we do in uh, in that how proper, how to do how to do. Okay, so it is a test case is a document. It includes some inputs and uh, what are the expected outputs. Like it deals about the how to test. Okay, so fine. Uh, I'm giving login is the scenario. How can you test the login? By the help of uh, valid uh, username, password. Yeah, okay. And then after uh, adding the same uh, login, then. Like uh, you need to follow if your scenario is login. First, you need to give a valid set, both valid and valid. valid. Second, you need to go one valid and another one is invalid. And third, you need to go both invalid. Okay, and fourth also we can go like uh, without giving any data. So, yeah, uh, why we need to do the native testing? Is it necessary to do? Uh, why? Just because it's, uh, we put uh, invalid inputs, but in uh, application we need to put uh, valid inputs and passwords. Okay. So, so that's why negative testing is not meant. No, native testing is mandatory, not a mandatory, but it is necessary. Why? Because only positive testing, we cannot able to say it is a quality product. So why? Because here in the development process, we are given a only valid password. It was worked fine. If we are giving invalid also, it was worked fine. It was founded in end user environment. There is a security issue. That's why native testing also mandatory to do. Okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah okay. okay, fine, Swati. So... Like, uh, yeah, I completed my site, I done with my site. You have any queries to ask? No. Yeah, okay, fine. And thank you, thank you for your time. And my suggestion is, and uh, uh, like, go through the in depth concept, okay? So, why? Because there is a lot of competition. So, we need to make sure our answers and as well as with a specific way. So, that's why you need to give multiple examples, okay? Focus on examples, okay? Fine, so you can, you may.